question number 116 which one is incorrect regarding chromosomal theory of inheritance option number four homologous chromosomes as well as genes segregate at the time of gamete formation it is correct that the homologous chromosomes as well as genes present on them segregate at the time of gamete formation as gamete contains a half number of genes as compared to the parent cell in a diploid organism now third one chromosomes as well as genes occur in pairs in the diploid cells it is also true that the genes as well as chromosomes they are present in the pairs in a diploid cell second one the paired condition of homologous chromosomes as well as mendelian factors is restored during the fertilization it is also true as a gamete contains half number of the genes as compared to the parent cell that's why during the fertilization the zygote restores the number of chromosomes as well as genes now first one a gamete contains only one chromosome and only one allele it is not possible that a complete gamete has only one allele so this is wrong so the correct option for the given question is option number one let's move to the next question question number 117 which one is not an outbreeding device outbreeding device is the method by which cross pollination or the cross fertilization is promoted and the self pollination is prevented self incompatibility yes it promotes cross pollination dioecious condition means the male and the female sex organs are present on the separate plant bodies it promotes cross fertilization first one dichogamy is the maturation of both the sex organs at different times it also promotes cross pollination now what about the homogamy homogamy is the production of both type of gametes at the same time and this promotes self fertilization not the cross one so the correct option for the given question is option number four let's move to the next question Question number 118. What is incorrect with respect to the interflowering period? First option, it is used for building up resources. Yes. Interflowering period, it is the recovery phase and it occurs between the two flowering phases. Means if flowering has happened, then before the next flowering, there will be an interflowering period so that the plant can build up the new resources second one it can be observed in perennial polycarpic plants it is true polycarpic plants flower many times and it can be observed in the perennial polycarpic plants fourth one it is called the recovery phase yes third one it is the part of the juvenile phase and no it is the part of the reproductive phase so the correct option for the given question is option number three Let's move to the next question. Question number 119. Syngamy inside the body of an organism is not a feature of. In this particular question, the examiner wants to ask that external fertilization takes place in. Spirogyra shows internal fertilization. Bryophytes, gymnosperm, they also show internal fertilization. All bryophytes, gymnosperms, stadophytes, angiosperms, they show internal fertilization. Amphibians, they show external fertilization and syngamy occurs outside the body of the organism. So the correct option for the given question is option number three. Let's pick up the next question. Question number 120. Endosperm may persist in the mature seeds of castor beans, groundnut or pea. In groundnut, pea and beans as they belong to the family Fabiaceae, the endosperm is not present in the mature seeds. They are ex albuminous or the non endospermous seed. What about the castor? Castor is a dicot, although it has endosperm at maturity, also it is endospermous seed. So the correct option for the given question is option number one. Let's move to the next question.